we are going to start dynamic shear rheometer dsr before i start explaining to you from here some hard part of the lecture will start if you will be able to understand this you will never find any difficulty you know this dsr is used to characterize let me tell you it is used to characterize visco elastic behavior of the binder the visco elastic behavior of the binder here this visco elastic behavior depending upon the two parameter number 1 complex shear modulus G star phase angle delta. This complex shear modulus and this phase angle delta, it plays a key role for understanding. very very important properties known as rutting resistance and fatigue cracking how you know this dsr used to find out the value of these two let me tell you again this dsr is going to find out the value of the phase angle and the complex shear modulus at different temperatures what can be the range of this temperature at intermediate temperature and high temperature intermediate to high temperature or i can say that my this is grade 82 so i can say that for example ki i can go start from 30 and i can reach up to 82 this is this can be the intermediate and this will be the high temperature at these two temperature the values of this delta and this complex shear modulus are found out and these values are used to to analyze or to characterize or the results are used to predict rutting resistance and fatigue cracking let me tell you here i will write on this word okay the values obtained by dsr for these two terms are going to predict rutting resistance and second fatigue cracking resistors here now let me give you the definition of this complex shear modulus and let me give you the definition of this phase angle
we can say that peak stress is being applied. Tau peak means peak stress. As more stress is being applied, more strain is being produced. G star and gamma. From here we can say that this complex shear modulus is the ratio between peak stress to the peak strain. And its unit Pascal represented by PA, Kilo Pascal represented by KPA, Mega Pascal represented by MPA. Clear it? Pascal, Kilo Pascal, and Mega Pascal. When any material has higher G star value. Keep this again. When any material has higher G star value, mean more force is required for defer to produce deformation. More force is required to produce deformation. One thing. Second, if is less, material can be deformed easily. It is soft. Simple you can say. You know when a material is soft, it can be deformed easily. Clear it? Now after giving you this definition, now let me explain or give you the definition of the other term known as phase angle. You know, when stress is applied, strain is produced. What I say? When stress is applied, strain is produced. If more stress is applied, more strain is produced. So this phase is related to the phase angle. Clear? When the stress is produced, and as a result, when the stress is applied, as a result, the stain is produced. This change in phase is known as the phase angle. The change in phase occurring phase occurring by applying Stress to produce rain. is known as phase angle. After this definition, just I would like to tell you when our phase angle is equal to 0 degree, the stage is, is elastic. When this phase angle is equal to 90 degree, the stage is Viscous. Clear it? 
इन बिटवीन जीरो एंड नाइंटी डिग्री इन बिटवीन जीरो एंड नाइंटी डिग्री इट इज नोन एज विस्को इलास्टिक नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड द टू डेफिनेशन ओवर हेयर मान इज अ फेस एंगल एंड अदर इज अ कंप्लेक्स हेयर मॉडल लेट मी टेल यू वट इज द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ दीज टू इस रिलेशनशिप इज रेप्रेजेंटेड by this diagram as i have explained you just over here this is the elastic this is viscous clear it this is the g star and this is the phase angle and you know different peoples have given different description and i try to explain in easiest word as possible for your understanding so this g star and delta are the viscoelastic parameter some time because they have to study the property of rutting they have to study the property of fatigue cracking so these two are also known as fatigue cracking parameter and the rutting resistance parameter this i will also explain to you please try to understand it again that these two factors g star and this delta are also known as fatigue cracking parameter and the rutting resistance parameter thank you for seeing this if you have any question please write down your comments and i will try to explain in easiest word as possible thank you